So today I'm going to be incredibly narcissistic and build a temple to myself. This should be interesting. So I've done a little bit of design work right here and as you can see we have got the main structure of some kind of temple. Now you might be able to notice a slight ongoing theme with this thing. We are featuring the Tash really quite heavily. So we've got a moustache that actually makes up the bottom area of the structure, which I really quite like. And then we have the main bulk of the build. And then on top, we also have this little tower, which of course has been adorned with some moustaches too. Now, if we pop inside, this is the space that we have to work with. It's not too big, but it's got plenty of space for all sorts of redstone contraptions. And I think the first one that we should work on is the entrance. And I've got the perfect door for it. So when I hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, I built this thing to celebrate. This is the mumbo door, and it doesn't quite work. Huh. I'm sure I can just fix that with a little bit of timing work. Yes, it is back in action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the first thing that's got to go in. So this is part one done. Let's see what it looks like when it's closed. <laughs> that looks awesome. That fits in perfectly. We've got the mustache there and the mustache there. And then we've got the tiny mustache down at the bottom. Oh man, that is brilliant. So then we open this thing up and that will take us through into the main area. Now, I think I'm going to do this thing in sections. So I think I'm going to do like a redstone section, maybe over here, maybe hermit craft and things out the back, and then maybe a tiny bit of filming channel, like a little studio off in this corner, and then my bedroom up at the top. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna get things started with the bedroom. That seems like a good way to go. Now, I remember one of my favorite suggestions in any of the I build your silly redstone ideas videos has been the sheep counting machine. So it's meant to be a machine that helps you sleep. And I personally, that's something that I struggle with. You know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm always thinking about redstone video ideas or hermit craft ideas and everything like that, which means that when I get to bed, it can be difficult to switch off. And a sheep counting machine could come in very handy. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe take it up a notch. Slime blocks up here, then some dispensers facing upwards. They will shoot sheep across. And then I guess we could have some kind of like lava killing chamber over here. So it literally just shoots them across. We can count them and then they die. And then we get another one, another one. Oh man, this is gonna be brilliant. The sheep are in the dispensers. Repeater, maybe set to four ticks. And then that's that. So let's give this thing a real quick tester. That has gone brilliantly. So if we run a redstone clock into that thing, it's good to go. I wonder if this is gonna to be too fast. Nope, that is perfect. <laughs> so now if we go to sleep, we'll be able to switch that thing on, count sheep, and it will really help us out. Okay, I'd say, I mean, do we really need much else in the bedroom? How much more could you possibly want? And then I thought to myself, I should probably have some form of launcher to get up into it. So I've created this system right here that means that we can get out nice and easily. But down at the bottom, we have got this slime block mechanism. And when we get launched upwards, we will actually hit the tripwire and we'll be stopped up here. So we can pop inside, we can flick this lever, and then we can go to sleep absolutely fine. And then when we want to leave, yeah, you guys get the idea. Perfect. Okay, I would say, I would say we're done for the bedroom for the time being. Let's move on and take a look at maybe some redstone type builds. Some redstone builds off in this area. So the next build for the temple is arguably one of the most important ones. And that is to do a redstone ideas machine. So in one of the droppers, we are going to have these sorts of words. And then in the other dropper, we are going to have actual redstone ideas. Like for example, this sort of thing. Now, if I place all of these inside this dropper and we have all of the other words in the other dropper, we hit this button right here and that gives us mega potion brewing stations. Mega potion brewing stations. That's going to be the next video. And then when we hit the button here, it goes, we get 10 ways to make pumpkin farms. How good is that? Redstone ideas machine, all done and dusted. But of course we are going to need a whole bunch of redstone resources. So I would say having some form of drop down storage system that allows us to access chests down below would probably be really quite helpful here. So I think maybe this should work. So there we go, that is the drop down and then, ah, not so hot there. I wonder why that is. Now we've got there. I needed a dual edge monostable circuit. I don't know how I didn't work that out, but this is the storage for all of our redstone work. 
So we have the chest up at the top, but we also have extra extension into chest down at the bottom. And you know what? We can actually add in some extra chests on either side if we really wanted to. Maybe that's taking it a little bit too far. This next one is a little bit on the quirky side, but what I thought we could do is create an isolation chamber so that when I'm really trying my best to think of how I'm going to do a redstone contraption and trying to understand how the wiring is going to work, I can just launch myself up into this thing and then I can kind of clear my brain and just stare into the blackness and hope that I'm going to be able to come up with some ideas. Now, I think if I've done this correctly, this should be functional. So we hit the button. <laughs> it worked, it worked, but then we got brought back down. That's a bummer. This really is crazily dark. I could do with one of these in my own house. I'd be able to come up with all sorts of ideas if I didn't have any distractions like this. But I would say that marks the finish of my redstone section of the Mumbo Temple. So we've kind of marked it off with some hardened clay up at the top, nice and red, everything's looking good. That's all squeezed into that zone. Now we're going to start work on the Hermitcraft area, and I would say the first thing I could do with is some form of spoon counter, let's be honest. I think this thing should work. When I hit the button, then that will start sending some items through and eventually we should get a score on the board. So there we go, we've got one and then I get a few more spoon moments and I've got two, yep, it's counting its way up. That's perfect. So here we go, functioning spoon counter kind of built into the edge there and you can sort of see the redstone. I've done it using droppers and things. It works pretty nicely. My mind is kind of going all over the place at this point in time. I started work on building the filming room, room, and then I thought it would be quite cool to build a homage to one of my most, in fact, my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. In fact, I think it might be almost at 6 million views now. That's completely insane. Yeah, it's just past 6 million. I think probably today because it has 6 million, 10,364 views. That is, that is pretty ridiculous. And to celebrate, <laughs> I have built 20 doors underneath the temple that can be activated with this. In fact, you know what? I think I think activating it with a button would be much more fun. <laughs> That's awesome. I want one of these in Hermitcraft. This could be tough. We have not got a lot of space to work with right here. We've got the piston door there. I want to try and make a changing background for my film set in the filming room. So I want to be able to go from a green screen to like yellow for the Wes Anderson vibes and yeah, it's it's going to be tricky. I think maybe piston feed tapes and kind of cycle the redstone up the back here then somehow run it into these pistons and just try my best to work something out. I think we might be able to do it just about. I have had to move some things around and I've had to do some rewiring. But if we have three ticks running into all of those pistons, we have all of the circuits down at the bottom here, we can just run a half slab line going up, kind of like this. <laughs> I'm making a mess of it. I've been doing a lot of redstone today. So let's see. Hit the button. Yeah, as far as I can tell. That's working. So we had the green screen and then we can flip back around and we have the yellow screen. All right, now we just need to set up a simple four pulser. I think it's four blocks in total for each one. And then we can cycle through at the press of a button. That's actually worked out quite nicely. Flick the lights, everything's on. Now we're doing some special effects work. So we've got the green screen. And then when we want something slightly different, we just hit this button right here and round it goes. Nice and quick. There we go, yellow background. Perfect. I would say that is the filming channel room all done and dusted too. So we've got redstone area, we've got the spoon counter, we've got the bedroom, and we've got the filming channel. Now let's do some stuff with this area. After that slightly complicated mess, I thought it'd be a good idea to build something a tiny bit simpler. This time we're going to be creating a kind of switchboard where we can show what farms you've actually built on the Hermitcraft server. So down here we'll have all of the levers, we'll have the levers for this one, I guess, up here. We can flick them and that will highlight which farms have actually been completed. So here it is. We have got all the different types of farms. Now so far I have done a guardian farm, that's all done. Pumpkin, melon farm, they've been done. Mob farm, shoot cane farm. And I think that's about it. God, I need to up my game a little bit here, guys. We've got lots more to do. As you guys know, 
I'm not that brilliant at fighting things. Whether it be other players or mobs and even slimes recently, I've struggled with those. Uh, I feel like I need a little bit of extra training. So I think maybe it would be good in this little corner right here to just have like a little PvP training area. So I can go in there and just, I don't know, cut some shapes. See what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. So we go on through. We use the armor equipping station, it wouldn't be a mumbo jumbo build without some form of armor equipping station. And then when we hit this button... When we hit this button, we get ourselves a zombie. And I'm in creative mode, so this is, this is quite a lot easier than if I was in survival. But there we go! There it is! We have got PvP trading stations, we've got farming switchboards, we've got an awesome bedroom that allows us to count sheep and we get launched up into it. That's all cool, we've got ourselves a proper filming set, we have an isolation room, a spoon counter, we have extra storage, we've got redstone ideas machines, and most importantly, we have got ourselves a sweet piston door. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please draw to that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo, and I'm out, I'll see you later.